Hello everyone, we will continue the topic and in the previous videos we studied what is cross application, we studied what is BAPI. Now we will come on to the requirement again. What is the requirement? That customer will give the employee data and we will migrate that employee data into SAP system using BAPI with IDOCS. Now, whenever customer data will come into the SAP system, we will store the employee data into one table of SAP. So firstly, we will finish with the table part. Suppose from the file, two columns will come, employee ID and employee name. So we will create a table into SAP system having two columns employee ID and employee name. Now we all know whenever we want to create a table in SAP the first thing we need to create domain and data elements. In the playlist of a BAP dictionary it is clearly clearly explained that whenever we want to create a table, the first thing we need to create domain, then we need to create data elements and then we will use in that table. So firstly, we will target the finishing of the table part. So I will go to SC11 transaction code. You all know SC11 is a transaction code for a BAP dictionary. So firstly, we will go for the creation of the domain. We will create two domains, one for employee ID, one for employee name. Suppose I'm creating a domain for employee ID first. Suppose I'm saying ZEID and I'm giving some serial number. I will click on to create button as customer specific object. So first name starts with Z or Y. I will provide the short description, employee ID. Suppose employee ID is numeric 10. So I will choose NumC and number of characters, suppose 10. I will press enter, I will save. I will save into package. Suppose we already created the package. We already have a playlist in that I explained how that how to create a package. Suppose I will save this domain into that package. I created the package at that point of time ZPKG7. So I will search for that package. Yes, this is the package which I created. I will save. Suppose I will save into this transport request. So you can already you can refer the playlist how you can create a package and transport request. Now this domain saved. I will check for the syntax of the domain. No inconsistency found. Lastly, I will activate the domain. So my domain for the employee ID is ready. I will note down this domain. Now we will create a domain for employee name. So I will give the name. I'll click on to create button. Employee name. Suppose employee name is character 40. So I will choose character 40. I'll press enter, save. I will save into same to same package. I will save into the transport request. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the domain. So my domain for employee name is ready. So our two domains are ready. We can check in our package itself. So if I will go to SC80 and show you your show you the package, this is the package 
and you can see our both of the domains are in the package now now we will go for creation of the data elements so i will choose the third radio button data type these parts already explained so that's why i am not going into detail i am just creating the things so i will go for first domain for employee id sorry first data element for employee id i'll click on to create button yes data element employee id now we will pass that domain which i created for employee id numeric 10 automatically appeared the purpose of data element is to provide the labels or description so i will go to field label tab suppose i am saying employee id you will go for short emp id suppose this is full employee id I will save, I will save into package and transport request. I'll check the syntax and activate. So my first data element for employee ID is ready. Now I will go for the second data element for employee name. I'll click on to create button this data element employee name i will provide that domain which i created for employee name character 40 automatically appear now we will provide the label suppose i am saying emp name employee name employee name employee name. i will save into package and transport request i'll check the syntax and activate so my domain and data elements are ready now we will create the table so i'll go to back button we all know if we want to create a table, we will choose the first radio button database table. Suppose I'm saying Z employee and I will give the serial number. I'll give Z T employee because it is a table. I'll click on to create button. Employee table. I will choose the delivery class. Suppose I will choose the delivery class as a display maintenance allowed. I will go to fields. You all know that first column in that table is always MANDT, which gives us the client number of SAP system. I am taking this as a primary key. And for MANDT, we have a predefined data element that is MANDT. This part already explained in the playlist of ABAP dictionary. Now I will go for first column, employee ID. What is the data element for employee ID? This is the data element for employee ID. Employee ID is the primary key of the table. Now I will go for employee name. I will pass that data element for employee name. Now I will go to technical settings. Table has total three columns, including MA and DT, but we will use employee ID and employee name as MA and DT is always the client number of SAP system. I'll go to technical settings. I will save. Yes, I will save into package 
I will save into transport request. Now, pass that data class. Suppose I am taking a double P L zero, or we will consider it as this as suppose master data. So I will take it as a double P L zero. I will put the size category. I'll choose from the F four help. We will save it. So technical settings saved. I'll check the syntax of the table and I will activate that table. So our table is ready. If I will show you the package, if I will show you the package again. So we created two domains, two data elements and one table. And you can see everything stored into the package. One database table, two data, one database table, two data element, two domains. Previously, we also learned how to save as a local object, but now we also learned how to save the objects into package and transport request because in the real projects, we always, always have to save in package and transport request because we need to migrate the or we need to transfer the we need to transport the objects to quality and production system so we should always always save into transport request so what we studied in this particular video we created the employee table and why we created the employee table so that whenever data will come from the file we will save that employee data into the table in the next video we will create a BAPI and we will write the logic into that or we will go for the best word we will create a function module in that function module we will write the logic and then we will convert or we will create a business object for that particular function module. That's it in this video. Thank you.